if you ain't good as a person, no matter who you are, I have a cutoff switch God blessed me with to say, you, mother I don't give a it's my kid. My mama, you know your daughter trying to get in touch with you? I say, oh, mama, you watch that little bitch. Ha! Yeah, see, it's it's it's. I get where you guys are coming from you because I had the same. You thing. watch that just is brought up in this new generation. And so at the end of the day, I see people all the time. Kids be super disrespectful, and they be brushing it off. And I'm, yeah. let me tell you something, man. Let me tell you something. Some children would do horrible shit to their parents. I, I've seen horrible shit to their parents. I've and I believe it. if a parent continues to be a crutch for their child, you set you set yourself up for some serious disrespect. Yeah. Yeah. Serious disrespect, yeah. man. I well, I wish my children would have tried to run me over like that. Boy, you lost your motherfucking rabbit. That's mine. Right. Hey, so we slide to that in the video Ooh, number let's two. Let's go. Go to the next. Yeah, one. yeah let's go. Yeah, we're peanut at. It's this jump podcast. Oh, let's go. I, man, my motherfucking daughter was. Oh, oh that my boy right there. <laughs> oh, you can you start talking, start back talking to her? No, the bitch crazy. <laughs> oh, she just called you out the blue? Hell yeah, cause she needed something. Hey, you just gave her my number, man. You still on that looking fucking? <laughs> <Man. laughs> I believe I believe my daughter runs circles around. Here, boy. Hey, oh, oh shit! Ooh. 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 For sure. Yeah, she ain't taller than me. Oh yes, she yes. is not taller than me. Oh, the last time she was here, I got a picture. She, she and I standing next to each other. You see how tall she is. I mean, She's I brought tall. it up because she tried to run game on me, like she was brought up by her mama. But you know what I'm saying? Instead of she probably tried to pull the slick shit away from her mama because I don't speak to her mama. She'd be like, "I know you hate my mama." I'm like, "Bitch, I ain't got time to hate nobody." <laughs> your mama was drama. Now here it is, all these years later, you judge like your mama. Both of y'all can kiss my motherfucking ass. I go make another Damn. Boy. I don't give I a fuck. I can make a new boy. Damn. <laughs> if you ain't good as a person, no matter who you are, I have a cutoff switch God mm. blessed me with to say, fuck you, motherfucker. I don't give a fuck if it's my kid. My motherfucking mama. You know your daughter trying to get in touch with you? I say, oh, mama. <laughs> you watch that little bitch. Damn. Yeah, see, it's, 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 I get where you guys are coming from you because I had the same thing. You topic. watch that little bitch. That bitch is brought up in this new generation where there is no honor, there is no respect thy parents, there is no, there is no, the way, the way the youngsters are brought up now, they will mm. fuck over the mama and daddy quicker than they'll fuck over somebody in the streets. Thanks. Yeah, I gotta get. What the fuck? I don't give a fuck if you are so hell bent mm -hmm. in making me a villain and saying I did you wrong. Get the fuck away from me. I didn't love your mama. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> you cooking now. You cooking. just popped up on a nigga. You just popped up on a nigga. <laughs> I try to show you love. <laughs> I, shit, you come out here, I did all this shit for her. She was still talking shit. So I'm just saying, it's like, I'm not like everybody else. I don't need your acceptance. Somebody said to me, fuck it. My mama said to me today, Corey, later in life, you might need your daughter. I said, if I need that bitch, I'm done for. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> A lot of motherfuckers might not say this. No, and it's hard for others to relate because... You, you mm -hmm. motherfuckers out here with kids, like your kids ain't shit. <laughs> your kids run over you, and you know they run over you, and you let them run over you, and you justify it by saying, these yep. my kids. Exactly. Now Before with me, mm. if I got somebody, I capitalize every letter in somebody. Mm. If somebody running over me, I'ma tell them, I'm about to take a shit. Get over here fast. Because <laughs> I want to shit on you. <laughs> give a fuck who you are. You don't get to fuck me over. I ain't, I don't give a fuck. This is my time on this planet. I ain't finna be worried about your funky ass, whoever the fuck you are. If you ain't no righteous motherfucker, I don't give a fuck is this a, if it's your child or whoever it is. Same way, yeah. mm -hmm. Get mm -hmm. the fuck away from me. Especially when you grown. You Same can have a little right. patience yeah. with your child. Sometimes you can beat a child up and get away with oh it. Oh my God, stop. <laughs>
I'm saying, but when when motherfuckers is 20, 25, 30, yeah. are they adults? Talking crazy to you? Mm-hmm. If yeah. you let them hang around you because they your kids, that shows human weakness in you. Yeah, I got I got to give it. Listen, I got to give it to him. I got to give it to him. For one, I don't give it my child, someone else's child, my second, third, fourth child. I'm a grown ass man. You are not going to disrespect. Me. Period. Listen, Period. At the end of the day. I think what, what people like Corey Holcomb, Kevin Samuels, I think people pay more attention to their delivery and not really the message. And at the end of the day, you know, there's there's a caveat to it. But at the end of the day, if I'm your parent and I took care of you, I, I made mean, sure you, you had what you needed, all that stuff. There's no way in the world you're coming at me crazy and I'm just going to take it. At the end of the day, a dog is due respect. And I birthed you and took care of you. And you think you're going to talk to me like I'm just any old body? You got oh, you lost your mind. fucked up. Yeah, you lost you, your mind. You tripping. And so at the end of the day, I see people all the time. Kids be super disrespectful and they be brushing it off. And yeah, Let me tell you something, man. Let me tell you something. Man. Some children would do horrible shit to their parents. I, I've seen it. Horrible shit to their parents. I've and I believe it. if a parent continues to be a crutch for their child, you set you set yourself up for Fulfilled. some serious disrespect. Yep. Yep. Serious disrespect. Yep. Man, I boy, I wish my children would have tried to run me over like that. Boy, you lost your motherfucking rabbit as mine. Like when I say rarely, it is like once in forever that I have to even like raise my hand at my kids. I don't even have to beat them. Not fear, I instill respect in them. So sometimes I might be Man, aggressive. I'm about that fear, bro. I'll put that fear in <laughs> oh, let me let me tell you a quick story, bro. I my son was two years old, man. And he was in his high chair. This was the first and last time I ever had to lay a hand on my son. He was sitting in this high chair and he was spitting food. And I was like, boy, stop it. Kept doing it. Boy, stop. Uh, you know what? I got you. I'm going to get your ass. And when he got out that high chair, well, I came up behind him, boy, lock out. <laughs> that pamper went flying in the kitchen. <laughs> he was sitting there in the middle of the room naked. He looked around. Well, he was shocked. Like, what the, what the hell just happened to me? <laughs> That was the first and last time I ever had to lay my hands. One time in my 21 years that he was on earth, one time he plucked me in the back of my damn ear. <laughs> Fuck you up. I mean, he hit my my ner- central nervous system. My brain started blinking. <laughs> I was mangled. <laughs> and that's all because yeah. I was I was supposed to go to my house. On the way to my house, they was playing basketball. I, I lost track of everything. I started playing uh, basketball. I was hooping. He came around that corner. Boom. That one pluck. That was all I needed. And... It was just a thing like even to this day i just don't see what would make me want to disrespect my mom like even if she say something crazy to me or whatever it's still a level of respect that i got for her that i'm never crossing the line these kids today is like bro Man, you, they, be they got everything shit. they got xbox playstation uh, tablets phones uh balenciagas they eat uh they eat doordash every day they don't work they don't do nothing they don't they don't have to earn anything and they still be talking reckless. <laughs> and they just be like, bro, like at the end of the day, I'm the Man, parent. Ain't no way in. Hell. Working my bus in my ass. You think I, I'm going to bust my ass, come home, you sitting on the couch, eating out the ice cream bowl. You going to talk crazy to me? <laughs> well, I'm joking this shit. Look, man, ain't no way in hell I will be able to talk back to my mom. To this day, I still can't talk back to my mother. Listen. You know what I mean? To this day, I'd be like, boy, how wild is that? To the day. You know, n- knock mama, your damn wisdom teeth out. Listen, let me tell you something, man. When I was in high school, when I said some fly to my mom, I was like a senior in high school. And, you know, she she slapped me in the face. And I looked at her, I'm like, Mom, what are you doing? She slapped me in the face. Mom, 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 that that, that ain't working. She, slapped, she was like, boy, for you. she called my uncle. I said, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> all right, I'm going to chill right now. <laughs> Wait, did you just call for backup? Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm going to chill right now, boy. I didn't know, you, I didn't know boy, you was coming with that yeah, She put up the bat signal. I, yeah, I, you know, I don't fuck with my Uncle Donald. <laughs> boy, I, mean, I, wasn't wait, I wasn't ready for yeah. that. <laughs> nah, listen, I ain't have a dad. <laughs> but I had an uncle, boy. He'd light you up. These kids don't understand. <laughs> and they, they cool. don't understand. That's why you should not be a friend to to your children. Number one, really a proponent of it. Whoop they ass. Whoop them kids ass. I'm I'm I listen. Whoop they ass. They showing off. Whoop they ass. And you know which kids you need to whoop. <laughs> All kids don't need to be whooped. You could you could scream at some of them. You could threaten them. I'm gonna go get the belt. That'll be enough. But some of these kids, they need their asses whooped. Yeah, listen, let me take make it happen. Man. 
you need to whoop their ass even they ain't do nothing. Because you're going you're gonna to do, do something in the future. So I'm about to whoop your ass anyway. I'm going to give you a credit. Put this one in the back.